Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be creating a project called Asteroid Dodge. Yes, it's going to be on Scratch. So we're going to create a side-scrolling game with animated sprites. This is a great way to get started with the game development. That's why I chose this project. So first of all, we're going to come on our Scratch web page and click on Create. We're going to go ahead and choose a sprite, which is going to be a rocket. Then we're going to go ahead and choose another sprite, which is also going to be a rock. Rock and rocket. Get it? Anyways, we're going to delete Scratch Cat and choose a backdrop. The backdrop is going to be space. We're going to go to the backdrop. Backdrop. Go over here and convert it to bitmap in this plain white. We're going to go ahead to this and, you know, we're going to create a red screen type of color. Just like this. Now I'm going to go back to space again. Now we're going to go to rocket and create, a, you know, few variables. First one is going to be a worded. A worded means how many, you know, asteroids you have worded. Then we're going to add another variable, blaster. Blaster means the shots of blaster you have. Then we're going to add gap time. Means the time in the gap. You know the gap in uh, you know the gap in second between the new asteroids appearing. So it you know it gets smaller when the game goes on, you know, and on. Then we're going to add score. Score and then later we're going to add wrap. You know, in the last we're going to add wrap speed. You know, the speed of the rocket. But on the screen, we will only show blaster, score and warp speed. So let's arrange them on the screen so it's easier for us. And it will not, you know, interfere with our rocket. So now, after this, we're going to go over here and get when green flag is going to be clicked. And in looks, we're going to get set size to 50. What is this purple block do? It makes the, it makes the, you know, sprite half, like, you know, half its usual size. So after we're going, done with this, we're going to go variable and we're going to set a word to zero. We're going to set blaster to three. Again, we're going to set gap time to two. Score to zero. And warp time, wrap warp time to five let's test it out oh and one more code we're going to go to motion and go to some position like minus 200 and zero also we're going to be pointing in direction 180 like this now we're going to update our code we're going to go to the control forever block and add two if then inside we're going to go to sensing so we're gonna sensing is going to help us sense that this is going to happen so if this is going to be pressed if you know the up arrow is going to be pressed then we're going to go to motion and we are going to change y by 10 it will you know make the rocket go up we're going to duplicate this block over here if the down arrow is pressed then we're going to go to motion and change y by minus 10 
Let's test out the core. Just like that, it moved nice and smoothly. Now what are we gonna do? We're going to do one thing. We're, we're going to change the costume over and over again, but costume E means the last one. Looks like the rocket is stopped. So to avoid this much confusion, we are going to go ahead and delete this rocket. Then we're going to add another core, which is when green flag is going to be clicked, we're gonna go to the forever. Meaning we want this to happen forever, and we're also going to add an if then. So if the you know if sensing is sensing, you know, sensing is sensing that that the rocket is touching the rocks, then it will broadcast something that the game should be over. We're gonna get a new message which is going to be game over. Now we're going to prepare the blaster gun. But first one last, first a code before that. We're gonna go to the green flag clicked. We're going to go forever. And we're also we're gonna wait 0 0.20 seconds in between. Yes, you got it. It's the changing costume sprite. And we're all yes, we're gonna meet meetings next costume. Let's check it out. It looks like it's flying, which is awesome. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to prepare the blaster. So when we're going to go to a new space, it means over here. When the you know when space key is going to be pressed, if the blaster, if the blaster is going to be equal, let's go to operators and make a greater than sign. Go to variables and get blaster in the empty one. So if blaster is going to be greater than zero then we are going to start a sound. So let's go to the sound tab and search. We don't need to search. We're gonna have laser two. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start sound laser two, and then we're going to change blaster by minus one. It will, you know, deduct the score as we do it. So change blaster by minus one. Then we're going to switch backdrop to backdrop one. The backdrop we did it earlier. Why? Because it looks like it's an explosion type. So that's why we're going to wait 0.5 seconds because we don't want it to happen so quickly. And we're going to switch back again to space. And we're going to broadcast that the, you know, we're going to broadcast that the, you know, blaster is fired. So we're going to go ahead to the new message and write blaster fired. Let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and add the you know, press the green flag. Oh no, I have two blasters. Again, I'm gonna click go again and I have three blasters. Now two, now one, now zero. Now I can't shoot any more blasters. So now we are going to update the score. So what are we gonna do? We're going to add a new broadcast when I receive update score. So we're going to have, when I receive, we're gonna add a new message update score. Right? 
Yeah, now when I press it, we're going to set size. We're going to add an if, if block. Then we're going to add one more thing. We're going to add an equal to an operator. An equal to operator inside mod file. And one more thing here. This slash mod file. So we're going to go to variables and get avoided. Wait. Avoided inside inside this first blank you know empty and then we're going to do fire and then that is going to be equal to zero so now what will this line of code will do you know it will divide the number of asteroids avoided by five so this block divides the asteroid by five now then we're going to change score by one because we were worded and asked so we're gonna add an other if block block and if the gap time is you know more than 0 0.5 so like this if the gap point we're gonna go to variables and get gap time is you know in 0 0.5 then what we're gonna do we're going to set the gap time to 0 0.90 you know 0 0.90 multiplied by gap time so how we're gonna do that we're going to uh, get this set gap time we're gonna go to operators and get the multiplication it means star we're gonna go to variables again get gap time over here and in here, we're going to write 0 0.90. Now, let's just test it out. Of course, it didn't get code yet. So what are we going to do? We're going to code for the rocks. When green flag is going to be clicked, we're going to set the size to 0 0.22. It makes it smaller and better and then we're going to hide it now we're going to make it we're gonna go in control and do forever to make a clone of myself of myself the rock is talking to itself let's just save and setting size to 22 hiding and it's gonna secretly you know creating a clone of itself and we're gonna wait until what we're gonna do we're gonna wait we're gonna use the no not this actually we're gonna use the wait seconds so wait gap time second so it means when the time is correct the rocks are going to be showing up so let's now make the rocks move for that when i start as a clone because you know it's starting as a clone so what are we gonna do we're gonna go to events and find when i start as a clone it's in the it's in control and when i start as a clone right over here then we're going to set size randomly to set size randomly we're going to go to this we're going to go to operators and pick random we're going to pick random from 20 to 50. he has a lot of obstacles to face just like this now we're going to do forever we're going to do it forever we're going to show and yes it's supposed to be 20. then we're going to hide and go to you know actually show we're going to show and then go motion and we're 
in this we're going to be going to some position so here we're going to go to 200 and here we're going to pick a random position just like that let's just do now we're gonna instead of you know 20 to 50 we're going to do minus 240 to 240 so it's like from y-axis to x-axis you can pick any size from that then what we're gonna do we're gonna add in other forever in the forever loop well in this we're going to be turning 15 degrees 15 degrees right and change x by we're going to be changing x why by how how by using the wrap warp speed so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to operator get the multiplication sign over here and get minus one multiply by you know wrap speed over here so now what we're gonna do we're going to add an if then block so if the x position the x position you know we're going to add an operator so if the x position is going to be greater than 240 we're gonna add this and put x position over here and we're, what we're gonna do we're gonna do minus 240 then we're going to change avoid it by one now we're going to broadcast update score update score and then we're going to delete this clone which will end everything and that's how we do it so let's check out if it's working it's coming at random paces totally random i want to be bump okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go and check in the rocket ship if we are going to touch the rocks yeah if you're touching the rocks then the game is over now what are we gonna do we're going to remove the asteroids how to you know boom like that so when i receive blaster fire we're going to delete this clone so we're gonna go in rock rocks actually we are going to go in events and here when i receive blaster fire it's going to be deleting the clone because it's scary, isn't it? Anyways, now we're going to go ahead and create a new sprite paint. It's like an explosion. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this and I'm gonna increase the size and make it a red color. I'm gonna be like this, like an explosion type. Okay, not my best, but let's just try it just like that. Any type of explosion, any type, then now we're gonna add a yellow color a yellow type of color make sure it looks like yellow just like that and we're gonna do it inside just like that and then what we're gonna do we're gonna add the text function right over here and we are going to write boom I'm gonna select it and make sure it's black and uh, yeah just like that then I'm gonna keep it over here and I'm gonna make it over here and I'm also gonna select it selected it again and I'm gonna write marker like a boom just like that it's not bad not so good so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead to the coding fire and when green flag is going to be clicked we're gonna make it high just like this high then we're going to receive game over so when we're gonna go event when i receive game when i'm gonna receive game over it's going to be boom why because you know 
we explore it. So yeah, when I was going to be game over, we're going to make this sprite go to a zero, zero, exact the center, I think. Show. And then we're going to stop all. And there is our game is done. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add the final last one. We're going to use select wrap speed means like right click wrap speed and click on slider. That's how it is. Now you like, so let's just go ahead and test this game. I'm going to purposely Oh, I bumped into a rock and it's boom. So that was an actu actually a really good game. And here it's zero, zero. Let's try it again. You can add music if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Then rocks are coming. Okay, I bumped. Now you guys, I hope you will enjoy your game. You can create your own sprite and do whatever you want. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know this video might have been a bit lengthy, but you ha guys have to watch it. And, you know, watch it to the end. So, you know, yeah, you should watch it to the end because it's a really interesting video and you will actually learn something how to make a new game. So bye and I'll see you next time.